Hey, what's up, guys? This is Astronox, and I'm back another Epic 7 video. So, patch note February the 13th. Luna, she's finally here. Wow. I didn't think she'd uh, ever <laughs> show up. But there she is, boys. There she is. All right, all right. So, her skills. Let's read this thing real quick. Luna is an ice elemental warrior and a powerful DPS who can quickly defeat enemies. Because Ragnar's spear ignores the target's element, it can synergize well with different ally heroes in various situations. Infinity Slash also deals huge amounts of damage, making Luna a valuable DPS who can eliminate enemies. Because Dragon Knights will increase her attack and defense depending on the situation, it is a crucial passive skill that allows Luna to be powerful in numerous situations. Okay, so here's the deal with her skill 1. It can attack between 1 and 3 times. Multipliers on that thing are pretty crazy. So if it attacks once, it's uh, 1.24 uh, time or 124%. If it's two attacks, it's 2.49x or 249%. And if it attacks three times, it's 3.73x or 373%. And then you've got the skill ups. And then that beautiful passive that increase her attack and crit chance by 20% if she's above 50% health. Or uh, if she's below, um, decreased chance of uh, receiving a critical hit by 20% and increase defense by 20%. So in most cases in PvE she's going to be above 50% and the skill ups on that thing actually you can get 10% increase in crit chance and uh, an attack above 50% health or 30% defense increase and uh, reduction in critical hit uh, chance received. From the skill ups there is 5 skill ups. On skill 1 you've got 35% damage increase <clears throat> and on skill 3 you've got uh, it goes up to 100% chance and you have 25% damage increase skill 3 the thing is that thing is on cooldown it's on 10 uh, turn, uh, turn cooldown and you have to use skill 1 to reduce it so you can't just like pop this thing initially uh, at the start unless you're using Isaria to uh, um, to reduce her cooldown to uh, to zero. So it soars into the air and hits the enemy with a spear with a 80% chance to decrease defense for two turns. Attacks with a more powerful element. So if you know Sid, with his ultimate, if he has speed buff, he uh, attacks with uh, uh, the advantageous element. So when you're doing that, you have a 15% critical uh, hit chance uh, boost and uh, it's amazing. So you, you're not gonna like uh, have those uh, those miss because you're uh, attacking with elemental disadvantage. So that's really good. And in be best case scenario, you're basically that like, you're doing three attacks, and then you can have the ultimate ready. Because use a turn and then three. That's four. And use a turn three. That's another four. So eight. And then uh, you could then another turn. You could proc just one. So yeah, there's different variation, but you could have it by the fourth turn. Yeah, that's how it would go. All right. So she's a limited banner for global and Asia. And that means you, if you do uh, after 120 summons, you can just get her. So if you've been saving up, well, now's the time, finally. Finally. So increase drop rate to 1%. The usual drop rate is, is 0.8%. Uh, there is no other 5 star heroes that can be summoned though. So there's that. But you've got the guarantee summon. There it is. When players summon a hero during the banner, the summon counter will decrease by 1 for each summon. That does not yield the banner hero. 
So you need to do 121 summons to, and on the 121st uh, summon you get her. You see that at the top left corner, if you're not familiar with the system, that's how it was for the inn. There was plenty of time to save. And I mean, if you really wanted her, you must have saved. If not, maybe you get lucky with what you got, maybe. So yeah, uh, side story. So the, the roses may bloom after the death of uh, Queen Dien. An identified group is plotting something in the chaos of Tiro Castle. Fight against them and win the favor of the heroes around you. So the roses may bloom, will run for three weeks and will focus on story rather than uh, battling. Enjoy sweet and exciting adventures with new characters every week. You need to count nine, okay. So. Okay. Let's just go quickly through this. There's actually some, some more cool things that are in this patch, I believe. I mean, it was just released and I, I just had enough time to get the multipliers. Actually, the multiplier on Luna's skill three is 2.94X or 294%. And if you soul burn, it's 4.39x or 432%. That is crazy. That multiplier is sick. And it only requires 10 souls, by the way. Very cool. And her stats, because I have it open here. 109 speed. And 627 defense. 6,266 health. She's a warrior. 1,119 attack. That that's all very good. That yeah, those stats are really good. And she's ice, of course. She's a Libra, and for where is it? Five star awakening. You need the 15 dream time circuit. You get attack percentage five, and sixth awakening is six percent health. And you need 10 uh, Rengar student IDs. Yeah, good luck getting those. But uh, if you really like Luna, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll do it. You'll do it. Okay, so that's the event. Bunch of story stuff. There will be one battle stage every, each week. Entering the stage will consume energy and clearing the stage will reward even currency. Uh, four difficulties blah 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 higher difficulty the more currency you will receive Katis and Bellona in the story all right the usual things here all right let's move on yeah Rengar student IDs four Dreamtime circuit five I mean this is definitely gonna help a lot of people if they don't have all these things well myself included i don't have the ring guard student ids so the usual stuff here uh four star artifact love potion jesus there is what demon blood gem four Eternal Forest Dust 5. Demon Blood Gem. Another 4 and 5 Eternal Forest Dust. Molagora. Molagora. My god, this is beautiful. Alright. This event is gonna be three parts and one each week there's a new part that opens up. Yeah. Very cool stuff. Crazy amount of rewards. Definitely have to participate. And this artifact, let's see what it does exactly. A bunch of leaves, sky stones. Oh yeah, if you are missing bookmarks, this is where you get it done. Very good, very good. Week one, our achievement equipment. <clears throat> Item level 71. It's a... Uh, Immunity chest piece. Look at those stats. Very nice. Very nice for support. 
<clears throat> I mean, it depends how it's gonna roll, to be honest. Okay, so this artifact increases the effect of all healing received by an ally by 10%. Oh my god. What? That's it? There's Shimadra's staff. Let me just open that up on my other device. Thing is, we the five star uh, Shimadra staff you can apply on a Soul Weaver increase the effect of all healing received by an ally by forty percent. Yeah, so <laughs> this is a quarter of the strength. And if you are using Shimadra staff, you don't even need to worry about this thing because the effects will not be stacking. I mean, couldn't they have it made like half the strength? Why is it a quarter? Like maybe like 30, uh, th uh, 33%? Why did it have to be a quarter though? That is very low. That's unfortunate, but I mean... The thing is, this can be carried... Uh, can it be carried by anyone? Uh, uh, uh. I, I think so. Let's just see. Okay, I guess that's it. Hero balancing change. Mercedes, wow, okay. Damage inflicted by skills has been increased for some mages. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> Tamarine skills have been improved. Here we go, boys. Let's see this. Has been increased 20%, the damage of Blazing Eye of Call. Celestial Mercedes. Finale increased by 20%, the damage. Zerato. Iceberg damage increased by 43%. <clears throat> Let me pull real quick Zerato here. Uh, this, this I believe is his... Uh, yeah, that's his skill 3. That's very good. I mean, that, yeah, that's a huge boost. Tenebria, damage inflicted by Nightmare has been increased by 10%. Bazaar, uh, damage inflicted by Hurricane has been increased by 20%. Cool. That is uh, his skill number two. Tamarine, soul burn effect of Serene Tune and Sing Together idol have been chained. Dam increased damage dealt and now greatly recovers health of all allies after attacking. This makes so much more sense. So, uh, I mean... This was on her skill 1, it made like zero sense for it to be a damage increase. I mean, she she's already lacking, like, she's a jack of all trades, so she need her to survive, like, at least before, she, she need to sustain the group before she actually use her ultimate, like, it just didn't make any, make any sense the way it was before. Now this is uh, much better, but... It doesn't say if the cost was reduced. Greatly recovers health of all allies after attacking. This is a 20 souls. Uh, 20 soul requirement on that thing. The cooldown count of Shining Star is now full only at the... F what? Yeah, alright, there it is. That That is much better. <laughs> this is like... Night and day there. It, it's... That's huge. You Now, the thing is, between waves, it's a different battle and the raids, like, it's, it, it's a new battle, so it didn't work. It could, the cooldown didn't carry over. You had to it reset every time to full cooldown count the way it was before. And that's uh, nine turns, and with skill-ups, it becomes eight. So... Only on the first battle. After, before performing, dispel all debuff inflicted on all allies and recovers the caster to max health and grant an extra turn. The caster becomes an idol for three turns and performs a concert. Begins every battle with full cooldown count. So 
So now begins the first battle with full cooldown count. And the wording stays the same, I believe. Yep, yep, that's it. Recovery from Song of the Forest has been increased by approximately 65%. Whoa. Uh, th this was proportional to her max health. And she already has a low amount of health to begin with. So that is much better. And it's on a two turn cooldown. Yeah, that is, uh, that's beautiful. The, the effect of Climax. Let's see one second, where is that thing? With a powerful performance, increase attack of all allies for two turns and increase combat readiness by 30%, recovering health. Wow. Amount recovered increased proportional to the caster's max health. It probably recovers as much as Song of the Forest uh, when she's not in idle form. Yeah. That's very good. So she she can still heal. Okay. All right. Well, now now you're going to have two banners going uh, at the same time and you're going to have to decide on who you're going to go with because I'm sure not a lot of players have saved enough for Luna and another hero at the same time. And Luna is guaranteed Tamarine you can get from daily summons later down the line like just like think about it okay of course they they change the description of uh, Shimaju's staff if the effect overlaps only the effect with higher rate will be applied because that that other artifact four star that boosts the healing from all allies. This actually works for this one and the artifact they are uh, adding to the game. Works with lifesteal sets. Works from all sorts of healing that gets applied on anyone on your team. You just need uh, the artifact to be carried by someone in the team. It's a very, very strong effect. Okay, they're actually saying how much gold will be received from the uh, chest in the uh, battle stages. Because before, it didn't scale with difficulty. So, it wasn't so worth it to farm the higher difficulty. And uh, normal diffic difficulty was optimal for experience. And since the, uh, the amount of gold from the chest didn't scale and the equipment. So, it was just better to just farm a lower difficulty more uh, efficient better equipment level and the currency as well like that those are all things that didn't scale before with the difficulty a golden goblin cham chamber as well that's very good scales with how much uh, energy you're spending new accounts now have maximum Gilchrist upon creation. Alright. In Guild War, the pre war uh, offensive team formation feature has been removed. Victory points in Guild War result now display as Havoc. When attacking in Guild War, the message that displays when the, uh, the player does not have a su sufficient number of Gilchrist has been improved. Yeah, so. Gilchrist is what you need to actually attack uh, players in the Guild Wars. So a bunch of bug fixes. Is that the category? No, the changes and bug fixes. Uh, improvements. Mix of all these things. Text here, ter text there. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> what is this now? 
When the game closes abnormally in the middle of an attack during Guild War, the battle log no longer shows defense failed. Okay, battle. Banshee Hunt 11. Banshee Lord Starlight's debuff now displays correctly. Correct health and attack information all displays in the artifact Santa Muertes heal description. What about... Did they do anything with Tamar Tamarine's uh, ultimate skill being dispelled? Did they do anything about it? Shining Star. Because, like, when you're in idle form, you could get the uh, the buff to be removed. Yeah. Anyways, let's keep on reading and see what's up here. UI. Yeah, I don't see anything major. That That's it. So yeah, huge changes for Tamarine. She, she looks much better than before. But finally we've got Luna. And uh, yeah. Now I'm going to have to decide who I'm going to pull for. But yeah, limited banner. Going to pull free to play. Going to pull for Luna. Might as well. I have uh, over 80 summons saved up. And by the time the uh, her banner ends, I'll have enough. If I have to go for the 121, believe I can make it happen. You never know with some luck as well. The thing is, where is... What's the rate up? This hero may be sold in the same or similar form in the future. So... Yeah. They're like saying that it could be a repeat later down the line. Because there was uh, Celestine at w at the same time with DN. Because I I read the rate up for an artifact I taught. Uh, it's just a love potion. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And uh, yeah, Luna, finally. And like I said, the stats, they are really good. I talked about the multi multipliers already. And... Uh, Good luck with the summonings, guys. Good luck with the summoning. Very, very cool. Alright. Well, that's it for this one. Peace out for now.